Hi everyone, in this video, we will discuss 15 new Raspberry Pi Zero project ideas that you can try. So, let's get started. Zero Bug is a 3D printed, micro servo hexapod robot, powered by a Raspberry Pi Zero and an STM32F103. The Pi Zero is in charge of the input methods and front end, making the robot controllable via mouse, keyboard, multi-touch, or simply a Bluetooth gamepad. On top of that, wireless gamepads are supported via Pi Game. The STM32 does the heavy lifting to make the robot walk. It calculates locomotion, inverse kinematics, body rotation, or translation, and finally drives the 18 servos. With a simple serial protocol, commands can be sent to control the robot directly. All of these calculations run at 50 Hz, enabling the hexapod to move smoothly and with high precision. Its compact frame is fully 3D printed. The PSPi Zero is an interface board that replaces the motherboard in the original 1000 series Sony PSP. This board lets you use a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W as the brain, which means you can either turn it into an emulation system or just run your favorite Linux distribution. And at Mega 328P microcontroller handles all the input for buttons, joystick, and battery monitoring. The microcontroller is constantly calculating, storing, and transmitting button and analog statuses to the Raspberry Pi using I2C. The microcontroller has four ADCs in use. Two are used for a joystick, one for battery voltage detection, and one for battery amperage detection. So overall, this board is best to play your favorite games on a PSP. Analog cameras were state-of-the-art around 50 years ago. These cameras used a cartridge like this and are hardly seen now. But if you have one, you can turn your analog camera into a digital camera that can take digital photos, videos, and even live stream via Wi-Fi. It consists of a Raspberry Pi camera module with its integrated lens removed and fitted into a 3D printed housing. The camera module connects to a Raspberry Pi Zero W which handles the capture, streaming, and storage. A lithium polymer battery powers everything through a DC to DC boost converter. So, the object that you see on the Full HD display is actually that one. Although the camera gives a far zoomed in image, the results are far way better than an analog camera. Do you miss your best friend quite often and want to ping them anytime for no reason? Then use these best friend lights. This project requires two lamp lights, one at your house and the other one at your friend's house. So, as you flip a switch to change the light color of your lamp, the same color appears on the second lamp at your friend's house, indicating that you are missing them. Both of them have a Pi running the same program. This program checks when the push button is pressed, and if so, changes the color. The Cassette Pi is a self-contained real-time notification scroller, housed neatly inside a transparent cassette tape. The Cassette Pi script retrieves the notification text from an Adafruit.io feed and checks it every few seconds for new content. The whole cassette vibrates to alert you to the incoming notification, and the text is then scrolled clearly across a Pi Maroni LED display. The notifications originate via the IFTTT, if this, then that service, which grabs data from multiple online services. So, this gadget can be used in various ways. You can receive weather updates, Android notifications, or even display a custom message. Do you want to level up your game of PCB design by working on high-level PCB projects? Or need features like remote working, advanced 3D viewing capability, and AMCAD? If yes then you must check out Altium Designer. Altium provides functions for users with all levels of experience and requirement. And before subscribing to Altium, you can use its free trial version by clicking on the link given in the description below. Do you also feel the need for more USB ports while working with a Pi Zero? Then meet the Pi Angle Zero, which is a plug-and-play 4-port USB hub specifically designed for the Raspberry Pi Zero. This allows you to not only power the Pi, but also add 4 USB connections so that you can connect your mouse, keyboard, and Wi-Fi adapter. The USB connector uses a chip called FA1.1S that gives high performance with low power consumption. It uses two USB microboard connections that connect directly to the Pi Zero and hence, omit the need for soldering. The green LED on the side tells you which USB ports are currently engaged. Tell us in the comments if you loved this simplistic design. Pi Hole is a clever piece of software that acts as a network-wide ad blocker. 
It enables you to block ads on websites, ads in apps on your mobile devices, and even on your smart TV, regardless of the software they're running. And for this, it does not require any other local software on the device. Pi Hole also improves your network speed, because the ads are blocked before they are downloaded. This also saves data if you're on a limited data plan. A web interface lets you interact with your Pi Hole and view stats on your network traffic. You can also set the Pi up to run the DHCP service, which allows the Pi Hole to identify devices by their name rather than IP address, and even integrate powerful third-party anti-malware and anti-phishing DNS services. The Ponegochi is an awesome project built for the Raspberry Pi Zero that allows users to capture Wi-Fi handshakes as PCAP files. Ponegochi learns from surrounding Wi-Fi environments in order to maximize the crackable WPA key material that it captures. It looks for clients on Wi-Fi networks and then it the authenticates. It sends a message to a wireless client to disconnect from the access point that they are connected to. After disconnecting, when the device again tries to connect to that access point, the Ponegochi listens to that handshake process and saves that entire message sequence to a PCAP file. This file can then be opened on a computer using Hashcat or Wireshark to learn a bit deeper about Wi-Fi. So, only use Ponegochi on your home network to learn about wireless security. Won't it be cool if you could look like the person you admire the most? So, here we are to help you with that. This is a face-changing projection mask that consists of a white 3D printed mask, a Raspberry Pi, a tiny projector, and a battery pack. Whether it be a celebrity, a fictional character, or any animation, this mask quickly projects anything to change your appearance. The way this works is that the mask has a mount that holds a small DLP projector facing back at it, and that projector is connected to a Raspberry Pi. The result is that you can change the way the mask looks by projecting different videos and images onto it. You can do cool animations, or just steal someone's face. It's a pretty creepy concept. Also called projection mapping. The Pi Spectrometer is a Python implementation of an optical spectrometer. It is a tool that could measure the wavelength of homemade dye lasers and perform some fluorescent spectroscopy. The hardware of the project consists of a Raspberry Pi 02W and a mini spectrometer. The overall design of the project is compact. After assembling the hardware, let's look at the spectrometer software. The interface is nice and snappy. Here is an example of the spectrum of a fluorescent bulb. The peaks at 448, 498, 558, 668 nanometers are mercury. Europium, one of the lamp phosphors, is visible at approximately 617 nanometers. The bottom tab has three sliders that alter the peak width, threshold, and filter of the spectrum. Are you bored of your regular alarm clock? Then replace yours with this origami-based sunrise lamp. Using this method, strips of paper are folded into polygons that are joined by other strips without glue. The structure thus obtained is called icosidodecahedron, which gives a regular lamp light a spectacular look. The lamp regularly checks the JSON file on the website for the program status. The lamp has two effects. The first is a drifting effect that slowly dims from full blue to a low level as the night light. The second one is the Mr. Sunshine effect, which slowly warms to full brightness at a scheduled time in the morning. So, isn't it the best way to wake up? Who here does not love a freshly brewed cup of coffee? Using this project, you can make a smart coffee maker that alerts you by sending notifications when someone brews a fresh cup of coffee. It uses a DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor to continuously monitor the temperature of the coffee machine. When you turn on the machine, the code starts running which monitors the temperature. As the temperature reaches the brewing temperature, the LED on the coffee tower starts blinking. When it's done, it sends a Slack notification or an email to the user to collect the coffee. So, isn't it a great way to save time? What do you think? If you like making cases for your Raspberry Pi, then you will love this one. It's a case for the Raspberry Pi 02W. It is a basic rectangular design with the fan blowing across the Pi and out of a vented panel on the other side. A large acrylic window is provided to the front so that the Pi is visible, and this will also provide access to the GPIO pins. After the 3D design, it's time to print and put the Pi inside it. It also uses a small aluminum heatsink with a 40mm clear RGB fan that provides more than enough cooling. 
the fan is connected to a 3.3 volt spin on the GPIOs. Now, it's time to put the acrylic cover for the case. Plug your power supply, monitor, and USB devices and boot it up. So, how does it look? Tell us in the comments. Our next project is a Wi-Fi security camera that can be accessed over the internet. It uses an operating system called Motion iOS on the Raspberry Pi, which is a web-based, mobile, and tablet-friendly surveillance system. It can be used with both the Raspberry Pi camera and any USB web camera plugged into the Raspberry Pi. By assigning a fixed IP address to the camera, you can also set up motion detection with email notifications, take still images, and time-lapse movies. You can even configure it to upload media files to network storage locations or to cloud storage services. Using a suction cup, you can mount this camera anywhere you like to keep an eye on your house. The Super 8 camera was one of the spectacular video recorders of its time. But this model is harder to be seen now. This project modifies that antique hero to work with the Raspberry Pi. From the outside, it looks the same, but from the inside, the old housing film is replaced by a Raspberry Pi Zero, a rechargeable battery, and a power converter circuit. The camera starts filming when the user presses the red button. It uses the Pi camera module, but still makes use of the camera's built-in optics, which include a zoom function. The camera can connect to a Wi-Fi network and can stream live video to a computer, or it can record video files to an internal SD card. This clip is captured using the modified Super 8 camera. Although the video quality is not good, it might have reminded you of your childhood memories. Share them with us in the comments. So, we hope you loved these Raspberry Pi Zero project ideas. Tell us your favorite one in the comments. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. If you also have some amazing projects with you, share them with us. Thanks for watching.